Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Diarray from CZT Barbara Duell Johnson. I was looking to see, uh, and, and, and Barbara, I know that you watch, um, uh, the story behind the name. Because what I'm saying, because it's, it's one, it's, it is one word. And I'm thinking, oh, just me, me uh, reliving my uh, my former southern accent. <laughs> oh, but this is a neat tangle. It's a fragment, and uh, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a couple ways not a couple ways to do this, but uh, we'll do the pattern itself as a fragment, and then I'll show you how to put it together because I got myself all confused. So if I get myself confused and then I figure it out, then that means I I must do it as a quickie video. <laughs> so. uh. All right. So this is, <clears throat> this is just the box that I'm using. Okay. Oh no, never mind. Okay. So here's where I got confused. So looking at the, at the box. So, you know, the step outs are in boxes generally, right? And then there's a diamond in and I was thinking that the outer box, because a lot of times I do this as well, and now I'm, I'm almost rethinking that, where that outer box is part of the pattern. And in this case, I, I suppose it could be, but it's not. So this is step one. And I'm, gonna, I'm doing it, you know, I, I traced around. This is going to be a ginormous one. Um, I was thinking this is going to be, I'm like going, nope, I got ahead of myself. All right. So this is, you can say your, your, your diamond. That's where we start. Then, and if you want, I mean, if you want to start it in a square and then connect the, the centers, that's one way to do it. I just wanted to do one ginormous one. So then from here, and well, like I said, we're on the diagonal and here we go. Look very carefully. straight line coming out. So we're making a smaller diamond inside the bigger diamond. And you just kind of have to eyeball like that. Now, you know, although here's a thought, because the next step is we're going to connect this point to this point, And I just, I lucked out here. I'm going to dare say maybe you could put these lines out as far as you'd want them. So that, that's the challenge is that you wouldn't want it to go too far in, but you could maybe start with this first. So that way then you have something to aim for. Just thinking about that. Okay. Then from here, we're going to, oh, like I said, this one is, this is big enough. I could probably put three lines in here, but I'm not going to, we're going to go put two in. So just from that, that, uh, this point, so, you know, dividing it as you can. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like that. Oh, and I was, as I was doing this, and I'm like one, ooh, look at that. I don't know if you can, if it's, if you're seeing it the way I'm seeing it, it's like, this looks like a platform. And I'm like, ooh, you could just stop right there. That's kind of neat. <clears throat> All right. Makes me think of, uh, it's one uh, platform of the old, sort of, of the old uh, video game Cubert. All right. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. All right. Then we're going to add some rounding. And we're going to do it to everything except for, you know, the very outer edges. And I always have a challenge doing rounding, you know, on on the side that is, oh, and I'll, I'll get the name right, that has, you know, uh, the wider, uh, oh, I, yeah, I've lost the word. Somebody will put it in the chat and I'll know it later. <laughs> Obtuse is coming into my head and that probably could be wrong. But in any case, just a little thickening however you want to do that. 
the rounding is easier that way. It's just like coming this way. It's like, well, you know, sort of. And I like to make sure to merge my line so I don't have that little bump that I just had. So you can kind of use the take off and land concept where that you know, you're tracing over a little bit of, of this line and then when you land, you sort of trace over a little bit of the, the next line. Like so. Oh, that was sloppy. There we go. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Probably could have fun with, you know, how, well, yeah, how high up you go. completely up to you all right like that and then we would you know it add some shading um, could decorate it I know the first thing and I think yeah Barbara did this on hers because I always like to do it where points converge uh, that looks like a fresh one I, I'm afraid to use it Gonna, you know, bringing it down the sides a little bit. I'll do the same thing over here. Yeah, and then this whole big space here. Oh, you can have so much fun with it. I think what I'm gonna do. No, let's let's aura it. Because that's always nice. Now, if you, you know you wanted to use color, although you could use, you know, you could do this with uh, with the gray. Oh, maybe that's what I'm going to do. It's different than all of the stuff that Barbara did up here, so I think I shall. You could kind of make it into a gem. I'm just adding these extra lines because that kind of yeah kind of makes it into drum. I wonder if I did it one more time. Would that look bad or not? I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. But what I am going to do, let's see. I'm just going to fill in. This is what's, what's left on my torch gown. I've been using it quite a bit. And probably this one too, because then it gives that it gives more of a you know beveled look. And if you need to add some, especially when you're just filling in, you don't have to you don't have to worry about where you put the graphite necessarily, uh, especially on these tiles because you see how well it moves, and we're just spreading it out. If you're using like a, a Bristol or a you know, a, a smoother surface. Make sure to test your, you know, your pencil and torch on how well it moves or not. Um, you know, on on a scrap piece or or something, so that way you can that way you can experiment and see. All right, now, and I am just playing. Because I want to give the impression, sort of of uh is this it uh, you know kind of make it look a little gemmy and well you know that probably needs to be a little darker or not sometimes just a little white gel you know gel pen works wonders it's just fun and when you're working over graphite or something else make sure to to wipe it off on something I have a little 
paper towel that I have folded up here that I use so that way it doesn't get wrecked. Anyway, so that is a thought. Okay. Now, I love Barbara's sample. Just move that more out of the way. And I was trying to figure out, I'm like, I thought, oh, well, this oh, this will be easy. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I had in my head that the tangle started off with a box or a square and then a diamond inside the square. And I was like, well, why isn't this not working? Well, that's why. So, so let me show you how you can make that in a grid format. So we'll make our grid line. And then, so each one of these is, our, is a diamond. It's, we're just using it as a grid, right? Okay, so putting this as a diamond. And you could do it. You could have it coming out this way. I'm going to have it coming in. I, I like. I really like the sample that Barbara did. Oh, you know what? Let's give this a test. Let's come in on the sides. And if you if you want your if you don't want to you know have it meet up because it's like no it's not far enough that's okay because you can always um, make it up afterwards carefully. Yeah, that kind of works. It, you know, it's an up to you, however you might want to do it. Um, but let's do this. I'm just going to stop with that. Let's do all the steps, all of the uh, same step in all of the boxes. Okay. And because I want them pointing in. <laughs> Remember that. Okay, and then I already did that one. We'll do these. And you know, you could do, if you're doing something like this in a grid format, you can do it one of two. Oh, look at how neat that looks. This is a whole different tangle. Oh, and I forget the name of it. Um, just this step. <laughs> yeah, that, that, there's a whole, there's a, oh, I know we did it, yeah, I think in the winter. Anyway, you could, if, if your eyeballs get kind of confused as mine are now, um, because you see this whole, you know, big pattern that's emerged, you could do each box separately. You know, just like we did this. Do, do all of the, the bits and then move to the next box. You can do that. There are some tangles that I need to, uh, I have that I have to do it that way. Just because there, um, there's enough steps that it's like, okay, I'm going to get myself really confused. Or I, or I have done that. I was like, okay, how do we not do that next time? way. And you know, like my lines are not meeting up. It doesn't matter because we're going to do the rounding anyway. And I'm apparently I'm adding them before because I was all excited to do that because I <laughs> because I didn't have my things meeting, my line meeting. You know what, as I'm doing this, if I, if, if I can do it and talk at the same time, we shall see. Oh, my eyeballs are still messed up. <laughs> it's like, okay, this box. All right, and then we'll do those lines. Um, so let me mention while I am doing this, please, if you're enjoying it, take a break for a second. Click the like button. I appreciate that. And then also, if you've not uh, done so yet and become a subscriber to the channel, we'd love to have you be a subscriber. So you can click that as well while you're clicking. Um, 
in when we're done in the description section you will find links to the step outs i always do my own version and uh, and then link to the creator of the tangle that's the for more inspiration one and below that ways to connect with me so if you enjoy my goofy style uh, i do classes twice weekly most of them are, are free, some are paid. Uh, Thursday, and uh, I'm in Michigan, so I do these uh, Thursday, um, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. It's just an hour session. We do the same tangle for both. So like we could take, we could take something like this, and you know, we, we, here's our little process. We talk through it, you know, I share my screen, I put the links to everything in, in our, the chat, and, uh, you know, and I always like it if uh, there are samples, and so you know we would take a look at whatever the samples are, the variations. And on uh, Barbara's step out, uh, she shares some variations, uh, some some ideas to play. Um, and then we just you know everybody just is let loose on the tangle, and then at the end we open up those that want to open up our webcams and we see what everybody did and it's always amazing um, so if you'd like to join us like I said those are those are free and in, it's every Thursday unless I have something weird in my calendar that I cannot avoid uh, and then I still don't cancel it I just move it to a different day um, oh, so look at how neat this is turning out <laughs> it is gorgeous all right and then uh, if you happen to be on Facebook I have a link there to my Facebook page, so if you want to follow me there. Also, I have a link to our, uh, our private Facebook group. And so if you want to hang out with a bunch of <laughs> crazy but harmless um, Tangle addicts, they're just amazing, actually, it's really, being serious, amazing, amazing group of people. Um, then there is a link there for the group, but no, that there are uh, three questions, membership questions, that you have to answer in order to gain entry. I like to kind of be able to manage the tone. I really hate deleting posts, and so I, I put those on there um, just so that way, you know, the tone is set and expectations are set. That, not that there's really any expectations. Um, just a couple things on my side. And then that's it. And then we have fun and we play and we share and it's a great time. All right. Look at that. How cool is that? Just so, so neat. Love it. And then, again, same thing here. You can play with this. I like the idea of, of oaring it, so I'm going to do that again. And then you could put whatever pattern you might want to in there. In this, or I'd say the outside section, you could fill that in if you want to. You could fill that with, with, uh, oh, I was going to say, with orbs or with, with uh, straight lines or whatever you want. Or you could leave it empty. And fill in the center or some of both <laughs> I like it really really neat let's just add some shading I'm not sure if I want to um, not sure if I want to put in any um, any pattern or anything yet but I do want to add this shading. So I'm doing the same thing as I did on the on the larger one, just putting some graphite here at the, you know, where all of those lines converge, and then bringing it out a little bit. Very, very neat. And, you know, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to aura these again. 
Actually, I was, uh, yeah, I think I might uh, fill in the center, or the, yeah, the center section. I could do this, I could do this, this. Yeah. Neat to have a little bit of contrast. And so that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it as a thicker pen. There we go. All right. So neat. Although, when you're working small, I'm leaving those gaps on purpose because I'm going to come back with that 01. And uh, neaten it up. I just don't want to. I don't want to go too far outside. But you see how fast this fills things in. You just don't want to create another issue. Out of haste. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. A gorgeous tangle and like I said this it, because it's a fragment you can have these well this one you can really only have it turning I suppose two ways we have it this way because it's in a grid right or this way because if you turn it this way it's the same thing <laughs> so they're either pointing in towards that center or you know going out you know and around and that looking at this think of the the neat um shape that that will be created in the center if you do it the opposite way so neat all right so i'm going to finish this and i've said all of the i would oh i think yeah i've said all of the things that i like to say just so that way if you are you know if you're enjoying this and you're interested and want to connect and do more tangling you can and so with that, as I finish this little bit up, thanks so much for watching, and I wish you happy tangling.